we think we've really uncovered already enough about how nature builds, controls, and manufactures from the nanoscale up that we're actually at a point where we can now leverage biological principles to develop new engineering innovations. And that's what we call biologically inspired engineering. But we're not just a research institute, we're really a translation institute because our vision is that breakthrough discoveries can't change the world if they do not get outside the lab. And so we don't only try to invent disruptive technologies, but we really try to translate them into what we call commercializable products, meaning we're not a company, but we want to tee them up so that they're ready to be licensed or to form a new startup company and thereby have near-term impact. Product development and commercialization is about building an incredibly strong team and I do think the VS has done that. You already walk into the facility here and you can feel the energy of that community. It's really about the teams we build and the teams who are going to bring these technologies to life. It's institute faculty, staff, students, fellows, clinicians, collaborators who, who together we're going to jointly develop cutting edge technological capabilities that would enable a whole new wave of bio-inspired materials and devices. And of course, what makes us truly unique are our ATT staff, the advanced technology team, who, who bring years of experience in industry from every type of industry you can imagine. And this turned out to be, I think, our secret sauce because there's a level of interdisciplinarity when you have people who've worked at Pfizer's and Merck's and AstraZeneca's, but also Pratt and Whitney's and Dow Chemicals and iRobot and Sonos Sound. It, it just really allows us to do things that no one has ever done before. Starting at the VIS Institute has been a terrific experience. The staff members and postdocs really helped me to quickly settle in the community. Furthermore, we work with private companies, foundations, and other research organizations. This really expands my professional network. So the VIS Institute has many different professional development opportunities and learning opportunities where you can interact with clinicians and with entrepreneurs and venture capitalists. It builds your laboratory skill sets, but it also broadens your horizons by exposing you to experts in all different fields that will really allow you to learn about how your science is going to fit into the broader world. The VIS Institute has been incredibly instrumental in helping our team bring regenerative 3D printed tissue graphs to patients. In particular, the resources and mentorship provided at the VIS helped our team spin out into a startup company that was then acquired by Desktop Metal to help bring these graphs to patients. I mean, there's a candy store of technologies, but you find great technologies in a lot of places, let's be honest about it. But when people in collaboration come together to solve big problems with the best intentions in mind, then I think science becomes really exciting.